Well, if you've been listening to this program for the last few years and have been listening to very much about nutrition, you realize that you've been hearing about a silent killer. It's a killer that's worse than alcohol, worse than nicotine, worse than drugs. It's called monosodium glutamate. And most people don't know that MSG is in thousands of processed food, often under hidden name, probably in your kitchen cabinets. And now some doctors say this flavor booster could be boosting your weight. This is going to be the first of a four-part series, the day tomorrow and then two next week, by medical reporter Galen Tethro on the dangers of MSG. MSG. You may think it's only an ingredient in Asian food, but you're wrong. It's everywhere, from restaurants to your grocery to your kids' school cafeterias, even your baby's formula. Monosodium glutamate is a flavor enhancer that's been big in the U.S. since the 50s. It's supposed to make your food taste better, but research shows MSG is making us fat. It's very difficult to exercise off. It's very difficult to uh, diet off. Uh, and these uh, infant animals that become obese tend to become what we refer to as couch potatoes. Dr. Russell Blaylock has studied these common flavor enhancers that many experts believe are hazardous to your health. He calls them excitotoxins, the taste that kills. An excitotoxin is a big word for any substance like MSG that overexcites cells to the point of damage, acting as a toxin, hence the term excitotoxin, a form of poison. The FDA considers MSG safe, but numerous scientists have found that glutamate in the diet can cause a range of problems in animals, including obesity. These foods, particularly in a child, uh, is certainly of the dose equal to what you're seeing in animals. Now, the thing that's peculiar about the child, they're uh, four times more sensitive than an adult. Pound for pound. Pound for pound. So babies in the womb and young children up to about age three are the most threatened. That means expectant mothers may need to be mindful of their diets. And when the babies are born, moms may want to watch out for formula. Nearly all formulas contain processed milk or soy protein. Because of the processing, these proteins are broken down into MSG and related excitotoxins. The other curious thing about exposing animals to MSG early in life is they prefer sweet foods, foods with sugar in it, carbohydrate foods, and they stay away from the foods that are healthier. And that can contribute to obesity throughout life and can make it almost impossible to lose weight. So is the public getting enough MSG in their food to trigger obesity? Estimates for MSG consumption vary widely, but almost everyone acknowledges significant and steady increases in the diet since 1960. And that may relate directly to government figures on excess pounds. Over the last 40 years, the government says adult obesity has jumped from 13% to 34%. And the number of overweight youth has quadrupled to almost 20%, with a steady rise for 40 years. Of course, that doesn't necessarily prove the MSG has caused the increased obesity. But Dr. John Olney, a pioneer in brain research, first found MSG caused obesity in lab animals in the 1960s. And Blaylock says the MSG theory makes much more sense than any other possible cause, such as lack of exercise. One of the frightening obesity effects of MSG is that it produces the harmful fat found deep in the abdomen. And we know people that have a lot of uh, visceral type fat have an extremely high incidence of heart attack and stroke and arteriosclerosis. They're also more likely to suffer from insomnia, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, and high cholesterol. Blaylock says to reduce MSG intake, consumers will have to pick foods more carefully. Because there's intense competition between the food companies for taste and for customers. And customers choose foods based on taste mostly. So if you can add a lot of this taste enhancing MSG, you produce this effect. With obesity continuing to rise, ignoring the MSG component could mean there's no end in sight for the ravages of excess pounds. Reporting from Jackson, Mississippi, I'm Galen Tethro, CBN News. Well, that's the first of a four-part series. Ladies and gentlemen, there's hardly a restaurant you can go to, especially Chinese. Chinese is noted for MSG in the food. It's one of the reasons people have headaches when they get through eating Chinese. It's the MSG. 
uh, but it's used to flavor almost everything, hamburgers, steaks, you name it, uh, it's there. Well, here's some of the other names that this uh, silent killer is lurking as. Aspartame, broth, casein or caseinate, glutamate, hydrolyzed uh, or autolyzed yeast, and hydrolyzed protein. Well, you can learn more about what foods contain MSG if you to log on to CBN.com. And tomorrow, in part two of our series on MSG, we'll look at how it affects your brain and nervous system. You know, it's, it's a hidden killer. It's hidden, and I, when I was watching that story and reading about it, I, I, I literally wanted to get a list and print out the list so that I could check my cupboards and check my kitchen, because not just for me, but for my, my son, I want to make sure that I'm not giving him something that I don't know I'm giving Baby Damn. food, soup, yeah. almost every kind of soup has mm -hmm. this kind of stuff in it. And you go down the line, of course, it makes food taste good. And it, it kills you while it's making taste good. All right. What's